everyone welcome to e knowledge hub i am manjusha and in this video we are going to discuss nouns number what is this number number is not the arithmetical value here number in nouns is classification of nouns into singulars and plurals we generally add letter s to a singular noun to form its plural like boy boys girl girls pen pens etc but do you know there are 16 methods of formation of plural nouns from singular forms yes learning these 16 methods help you speak professionally at the same time makes your spellings correct so let's begin by learning what is number number is a form of noun which shows whether the noun is one or more than one and this number is classified into singular and plural what is singular a noun which indicates one person or one animal or one thing or one place is called singular and plural denotes to more than one person or animal or place or thing as i told there are 16 methods let us start with set 1 in set 1 nouns form their plural forms by simple addition of letter s to its end and most of the nouns comes under this category for example pencil pencils bird birds cap caps fan fans game games doll dolls so these are some examples of nouns which form the plural by simple addition of letter s to it now let's see set 2 sometimes we generally add es to form plural when to add means the reason room if a singular noun ends in s or ss or x or ch or sh s ss x ch or sh then only we have to add es to form plurals for example beach beaches watch watches here these words ends in ch and we added es to form plurals brush brushes dish dishes these words ends in sh and we added es fox foxes box boxes these words ends in x and hence we added es to form plurals bus buses lens lenses here these nouns ends in s and we added es for plural forms glass glasses boss bosses here these two nouns ends with letters ss and we added es to make plural forms so this is our set to with words ends with s ss ch sh and x however the reason exception to this rule there are some words though the ends in these letters do not take es instead they take yes what are those words look at this stomach though this word ends in ch it doesn't take es but the plural makes with s only stomachs in the same way monarch ch but the plural here doesn't take es takes only s monarchs why because the ending ch here doesn't pronounce ch instead it pronounced k hence though it ends in ch we have to add only s to form plurals let's see the next set 3 set 4 set 5 all these three sets end in o letter o but sometimes they take s sometimes they take es why and how let us see look at set 3 the nouns end with the letter o preceded by vowel 
takes only letter S to make plural forms. For example, zoo, zoos, stereo, stereos, video, videos, radio, radios, studio, studios, bamboo, bamboos. Here, these nouns end in letter O preceded by a vowel, hence we added S. So, this is our set 3. Look at set 4. In set 4, the words end with letter O but preceded by consonant. When they preceded by consonant to make them plural, we have to add ES. Let's see some examples. Mango, mangoes. Potato, potatoes. Hero, heroes. Zero, zeros. Flamingo, flamingos. Volcano, volcanoes. These nouns end with letter O but preceded by consonant. Hence, we have to add ES. But look at set 5. Here in set 5 also, the nouns end in letter O. But they also have to take ES. Why? What are those nouns? These are the nouns which are from foreign origin or the shortened forms. For example, Kilo is a shortened form for kilograms or kilometers and we have to add S to make plural kilos. Photo is a shortened form for photograph and for photo we have to add plural form photos and the foreign origin words like memento, mementos, canto, candles, dynamo, dynamos, solo, solos. So these are the nouns under set 5 which are of foreign origin or compressed or shortened forms. Now let's see set 6 and set 7. Yes, because these sets end in letter Y. If any noun ends in letter Y preceded by vowel, then add letter S to make it plural. For example, key ends with Y preceded by vowel. Hence, keys is a plural form, only letter S. Day, days, toy, toys, monkey, monkeys, donkey, donkeys, kidney, kidneys. These are the nouns which end with letter Y preceded by a vowel. Now let's see set 7. In this set, the nouns end with letter Y preceded by a consonant. For such nouns, before adding ES, we have to replace Y with I. Yes. For example, city ends with Y preceded by T which is a consonant. Hence, the plural form cities spells C I T I E S. Y is replaced by I and addition of E S to make it plural. Look at some more examples. Baby, babies. Library, libraries. Story, stories. Lady, ladies. Hobby, hobbies. So these are the nouns under set 7. Now let's see set 8 and set 9. In these sets, the nouns end with letter F or FE. And in these set 8 and set 9, there is no hard and fast rule because some words will take S, some words will take ES, but there is no specific rule why they are taking. Only through practice, we can able to master. For example, look at this set 8 example. Calf, calves, half, halves, thief, thieves, self, selves, shelf, shelves, leaf, leaves. So these nouns end in F and they have taken ES after replacing F with V. And in the same way, look at these examples. Life, lives. Wife, wives. Knife, knives. These words end in FE and here this FE is replaced with V before adding ES. And look at set number 9. Belief, beliefs. Chief, chiefs. Chef, chefs. 
handkerchief, handkerchiefs, grief, griefs. Here these nouns ends in F and though they have preceded by vowels are sometimes consonant, they have taken only S, no replacement or something like that. And look at these words which end in F-E, cafe, cafes, F-E and takes only S. Safe, safes, yes. So these are set 8 and set 9 which we cannot have any rule to discriminate or differentiate only the thing is practice by reading newspapers and books there is no broad distinction now let's see set 10 in set 10 the internal vowels of the word changes to make plural for example man men a change to e to make plural woman women foot feet goose Geese, tooth, teeth. Here, internal vowels change to form plurals. In addition to these, one more word, loves, lies. Let's see set number 11. There are four words which follow specified pattern. Sometimes they will take en or ren, and sometimes a new word in addition to the general addition of yes. Let us see what are those four words. First one, ogs. The plural is oxen. It has taken en. Second word, child. The plural is children. Added ren. The third word, brother. We know the plural brothers. At the same time, we have another word, brethren, is a plural form. Cow, cows, and another plural form is kind. K i n e kind. So these are the four words in set 11. Let's move on to set 12. There are some words where there is no differentiation either in spelling or in pronunciation. Both singular and plural forms are same. Only in usage, we can show the differentiation by using singular or plural verb based on the situation. Those nouns are sheep, sheep only singular as well as plural, fish, fish, deer, deer, reindeer, reindeer, dozen, dozen, hundred, hundred, thousand, thousand, bison, bison, score, score, species, species, swine, swine. There is no differentiation either in spelling or pronunciation but while using in a sentence, you can use either singular or plural verb to sense one or more than one. However, there is an exception to this. Sometimes we can use these words in their abnormal plural forms that is addition of yes. For example, I have 10,000 rupees. So I'm saying 10,000 rupees, thousand, no plural, but I can also say thousands of people attended the meeting i'm not sure how many thousands so i told thousands of people where there is no number preceded this word we can use plural but there it should be immediately followed by preposition of and the noun in plural now let's see set number 30. Set number 13 is all about compound nouns. As we have already discussed in our compound nouns, compound nouns can be pluralized but only the main word of the compound noun should be pluralized, not every time at the end of the word. For example, manservant, menservant, son-in-law, sons-in-law, daughter-in-law, daughters-in-law, step-daughter, step-daughters, man of war, men of war, Commander in chief, commanders in chief, maid servant, maid servants. So be careful with compound nouns because we have to pluralize the main board of compound noun. Let's move to set number 14. In set number 14, there are words which have no singular forms. If you use them in singular, there is no sense at all because they generally have two parts stick or attach it to a frame or of such kind. For example, 
scissors there is no singular word called scissor many people do mistake give me scissor it's wrong it should be scissors because scissors have two blades joined at one junction so it should be scissors not scissor at all at the same time pants trousers shorts thongs pliers bellows spectacles jeans pajamas pinces now let's see set number 15 in this set the nouns end in letter s but should not ever be treated as plural like economics physics news innings civics politics mathematics headquarters genetics etc ends with letter s but they are not plural forms they are singular forms and should be treated as singular only however again there is an exception for example politics is an interesting subject politics though ends in s here is the name of the subject we treated as singular at the same time his politics are extreme here the same word politics is treated plural based on the situation and sense we have to consider them either on the singular or plural and let's move on to our 16th and last method there are some set of words in english language which are of foreign origin while making plural forms their original forms are retained in english language too they are formula formula fungus fungi radius ready alumnus alumni curriculum curricula memorandum memoranda axis axis synopsis synopsis here only letter is different criterion criteria yes so these are a set of examples of words of foreign origin right these are the 16 methods of formation of singular nouns into plural nouns and be careful while using because there are exceptions however to practice and careful analysis of sentence one can master them hope you like this video and understand the formation of singulars into plural forms and if you did all you have to do is please hit that like button and do comment down below your views and do not forget to share this video and subscribe to my channel see you in the next video with another part of now this time gender till then happy learning